Hey everyone, welcome to week nine of the course. So this represents the first week of the second half of the class. Um, everything uh, from here on out is covered on the final exam, which is not cumulative, meaning um, you can just forget everything I taught you before this. Um, but, but I prefer you not. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I hope the uh, midterm went okay for you. I hope the review material and everything was helpful. Uh, so I am working on grading those right now. Um, I will um, grade those quicker than I grade everything else, I assure you, because uh, I know people are eager to see um, their grades on the short answer questions and getting that final grade there as well. So I uh, am jumping into that. Uh, and we'll be working on that the next couple of days here. Uh, week nine of the class talks about international organizations at sort of a high level. Um, a lot of what we talk about in the second half of the class is going to be focused on this, and we'll talk about some specific uh, intergovernmental organizations such as the UN, the EU, and, and some of them and their role. Um, really, uh, the second half of the class, a lot of the focus is on what we call liberal institutionalism. So it's this idea of the framework of idealism or liberalism uh, sort, of poured in, sort of put into practice kind of post-World War II. Um, and, and how we as, uh, as countries sort of, um, you know, engage in international relations through these different organizations. Um, so this first lecture is really just kind of a, an overview at a high level of kind of what these organizations are before we get a little bit more uh, specific there. So in terms of uh, things to do this week, you've got the lecture, lecture nine there and the associated code word. Uh, you do have an assignment this week. So I've got two readings in addition to the textbook chapter that I want you to read. Uh, they look at um, the role of Amnesty International in this report that they uh, published uh, several months back uh, related to uh, Ukrainian fighting tactic and tactics. And so it's an interesting one because we talk about uh, Amnesty International in this week's uh, lecture material. Um, and they, as an organization, are one that uh, is, is an advocacy group. They essentially put out policy papers and research papers to bring attention to human rights violations. And interestingly enough, in this case, um, their claim was that uh, essentially the Ukrainian side was, uh, was doing some things that uh, were essentially making uh, civilians uh, less safe. And they took a lot of heat for this. Um, so I thought it was an interesting read. Um, so you can see uh, the piece there. Um, and, and sort of the criticism of it. Um, your assignment this week, you have a few questions that are related to that, so go ahead and um, answer those as you read through that. Uh, otherwise, it's um, you know pretty uh, light week, and it's going into spring break, so I will not require anything of you uh, during spring break. I want you to be able to enjoy that. Also gives me a chance to catch up on grading, which is good, too. Uh, I would mention, though, that the uh, term research uh, project uh, part two, if you haven't seen it already, is, is loaded for you to look at. Um, that's going to be due on March 19th. This is the um, the background and hypothesis section of this paper. So you've given me two um, variables, an independent and dependent variable in step one. Here in step two, I want you to elaborate on why you think the relationship that you predicted is going to exist. Um, you're going to do that by citing at least two sources. Now, uh, I think I mentioned the instructions. I don't care how you cite them. Just make it to where I could find it if I needed to. Uh, I don't want you to spend a lot of time on MLA or APA or any of that stuff. Um, it's not really relevant for, for the purposes of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Um, and, and I've given you a sample paper too so you can kind of see uh, that's a paper that I wrote just to give you an idea of kind of what I'm uh, sort of looking for and the expectations there so uh, but if you have any questions let me know otherwise I will be grading your exams and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy sort of the second half of the class as we um, you know move towards uh, kind of wrapping this up so uh, have a great uh, week everyone and uh, have a great spring break as well thanks